blacksmithing is a, a very historic craft, traditionally to do with forging material, so heating up the material and hammering it into a new shape. The heat of the fire, the smell, the noise, the dirt, um, the comradeship of working as a team is really, really important. Um, and just moving so something which, when cold, is solid, we have the ability and the skills to change it to uh, make it sort of fluid and organic, and um, it's just fun, great fun. We get excited with our work when people can interact with it. So we thought making a seat to go in the exhibition that folk could actually use, sit on, experience, and be tactile with. We are pushing the boundaries of what we know the material can do, as, which is actually one of the things that we enjoy doing. Um, and we're really just sort of playing with the, the bar and the shapes for both the public and for architects to be aware of what steel, what you can do with steel when you heat it up, how, how plastic it is and how you can really shape and form it and change it. We've looked at the whole city of Edinburgh. So we've, there are elements that are trying to represent things like the Salisbury Crags or Castle Rock. There are shapes that are um, sinuous and flowing like the water of Leith going through the city. We've tried to do the same with our work and bring out really strong features of the forging process. Craftspeople throughout the centuries, uh, when cathedrals were built, a lot of the input into the final look and feel of the buildings came from the craftspeople holding the chisels, holding the woodworking tools, holding the metalworking tools. The architect was the, the guiding force, if you like. And in that same way, an architect coming to a modern craftsperson can draw out skills and detailing and enthusiasm for their project. The architect maybe has some of the knowledge or has seen some imagery of, of different crafts, but he or she doesn't actually have that inbuilt knowledge that's sort of here, that, that we have as, as craftsmen. We're working with our material day in, day out. We love it to bits, we push it, and we push it beyond where we know it can go because that's what we enjoy doing. It can be a very fulfilling process, especially when you're working with someone who really appreciates that you want nothing more than the best work you can produce for their project. I started working, or started, blacksmithing, forging, um, aged about 15 in my mum's back garden. I just found it amazing that you can take a material that in everyday society is seen as being strong and rigid and solid. You can heat it up, bend it, change its shape, move its volume around. Even now when you take a piece of bar and you heat it up and you manipulate it and it moves, sometimes it'll move exactly as you expect. Other times it will not move exactly as you expect and sometimes those are the most exciting times. It's just that, that very primeval experience of taking something and heating it up and the fire and the heat and seeing something change before your eyes that when it then cools down becomes once again that solid immovable object. Even after 25 years, it's still exciting every day when you put a bit of bar in the fire, what's it gonna come out like? It's just amazing. 